Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Continuing from our last episode, in this episode of The Diff, we will discuss more about building multiplayer virtual reality applications. We will learn about the platform SDK multiplayer features and the open source Oculus shared spaces sample in Unity. And with me today is Zach, who is a software engineer on the VR developer environment engineering team to tell us more about building multiplayer VR apps in Unity. Hi Zach, I'm super excited to have you here with us. Could you please tell us more about yourself and what you work on? Hi, I'm Zach Drake. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, I'm a software engineer on the developer technology team. Uh, I focus on samples and graphics features, mostly working in Unreal Engine, but I also have um, past experience with Unity and work on some Unity samples as well. Um, I have a background in games. I started out doing PS2 and Xbox games. Uh, I worked on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series. I did like six of those, starting with uh, THPS4. And then I also worked on uh, Guitar Hero. Um, if you ever played drums on Guitar Hero, that was my code. I wrote all the drum input code for that. And then I've been with Meta for about two years now. I've been on the dev tech team the whole time, and um, I've been um, working on a number of samples. Uh, I did a graphics showcase. I recently released um, a port of Showdown to Quest, and I also work um, with a few team members on the Shared Spaces uh, multiplayer uh, sample. Wow, that sounds interesting, and I really like Guitar Hero. I mean, I enjoy playing it a lot. Um, thanks yeah, for the introduction. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned shared spaces sample. So let's talk about it a bit. Uh, could you tell us what the sample is about and like how it works? Yeah. So shared spaces was basically our way of building a template so that developers can get like a head start on a multiplayer uh, game. Uh, we're trying to take care of like all the low level stuff that is involved in like getting multiple players into like the same room and to kind of deal with like kind of the just the base multiplayer functionality so that the developers can work on the gameplay and the fun stuff um and so yeah it, it's just a like it's it's really intended as a template and um and that's part of why we you know we've made versions of it for both unity and unreal well that is so interesting so you mentioned like the platform sdk is built on top of these like what are the features that are uh like the platform SDK is responsible for, like when we see the sample, like which are the features that the platform SDK uh, actually does? Uh, that's a great question. So platform SDK is handling things like, um, and we have to talk to the platform SDK to get like your Oculus IDs. Um, so like the, the game doesn't know who you are without talking to the platform. So it'll get like your Oculus ID and then when you want to send an invite, it's going to get pull down like the list of your friends. And so uh, it's going to give you that list. Like we have to ask the platform, okay, your Oculus ID is this, who are you friends with? And then it's going to look up things like, where are they? Are they even online? Are they already in the same game as you? Like things like that. And then handle delivering the invite. It'll show the invite on the other end. And then like once they're, in your game, it handles things like the uh, roster panel, which kind of shows like, okay, yes, you are in the same room or you're in the same game, but maybe not in the same room, things like that. Um, so platform SDK is all about, yeah, the user, like your, um, yeah, your user accounts, where you are and how to get your friends together. Um, so that's a big part about multiplayer. It's, um, it's, like really helpful to to get everybody together like that. Um, it it can be difficult to like coordinate. Like I know a lot of times people end up coordinating outside of the game. Like oh, let's jump on Discord, or I'm trying to look at my phone like while I've got my headset on, or things like that. Platform SDK is trying to resolve some of those issues by simplifying the process of getting together inside the headset. There are other options as well as you can send the invites like from outside from um, the mobile app and um, that will then launch people direct uh, launch the headset directly into the game so the, those are all the 
that's kind of like what it does. And yeah, it's trying to overcome the hurdles of like getting together, just make things like run smoothly without like having to depend on other platforms to communicate. What are some of the challenges that like that arose when you were developing shared spaces particularly, and what can arise when people start building multiplayer VR applications? Yeah. So the first challenge, like, and probably like one of the harder things for me was, was just being able to test it like on headsets. You get used to creating like single player applications or, you know, if that's what you've kind of always done or then you're used to like, oh, here's my one headset. I load up my APK, I put on my headset and I test it. But when it comes to multiplayer, it gets a lot more complicated than that. Um, you pretty much have to have two headsets or you need to have another friend or developer that is like available on a whim when you need to test something. Um, it's a lot easier if you have two headsets because you can literally from Unity or from Unreal, you can um, push the APK to all the headsets that are attached to your, your PC like um, at the same time rather than like, Oh, uh, let me upload this APK so Naviata can then download the, that and then push it to her headset. And then we can like it. It's, it's a lot easier to do simple tests when, with two headsets yourself. Um, I actually like throughout the development, like I took a bunch of notes and there's, there's like, I wrote a uh, multiplayer quick start guide that covers both Unity and Unreal. Um, it covers like kind of setting up like test users and stuff like that. And it's, yeah, it's, it's quite, it's, it's involved. Like it's, it's not that hard, but it's kind of hard to discover. So it helps to have the guide to kind of walk you through. Um, but yeah, other than like getting your headsets up and running and be able to test, like there's other, um, challenges for multiplayer. Um, like, you're going to deal with things like, oh, I had how many, like, actually, how many players can I have? Because, like, we're running, like, a server on on somebody's headset. Like, if you're the first player in the room, like, you become, like, the, the master server there. And then other headsets, other people that join are connecting to your headset. And at some point, like, your network capability or, your, you know, is... Um, your pipe is full and, and it becomes, it starts to cause issues. So you have to set like a max players that I think on shared spaces, we've done six or eight players without any like noticeable like issues. But that's also like, um, with most of us being working from home, we have pretty strong like network con like connections, pretty good internet. And so, um, It'll differ depending on who is actually hosting the game. That applies to pretty much any platform where you're you're doing self-hosting. Um, there's going to be a limit to how many players you can have, but I, like you really just have to try it. Like, and depending on your game, you may be sending more or less data, and so you might be able to, like we might be able to do eight. Another game might only be able to do four, or another game might be able to do like. 12, you know, who knows, but it, it really depends on how much data you're actually synchronizing between the players. Cool. Thanks for such helpful insights, Zach. And thanks for all the amazing work that you and your team do. And with that, we'd like to conclude this episode of The Diff. Thank you, Zach, for providing us with such great insights into the VR platform SDK multiplayer features and all its features and the super helpful resources that we have, like shared spaces sample to help our developers get started with multiplayer VR. And thank you so much for all the amazing work that you and your team do. It was great having you here. Thanks, Naviata, for the opportunity to talk about my team's work and helping us to promote it to developers. It was really fun talking with you. Absolutely. Uh, that's it for today, then. Thank you so much, Zach, and have a great rest of your day. <laughs>